Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time to this channel, this one right here, run on that subscribe for me. After you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. It's right there beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every single day because it helps us grow. Those things are comment, 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 like, and share, and go on, click for the team. Come in like a share and go on for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't let come like a share. Okay, you got checks out. We got it right. We're going to get to the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Open to the side. The bin is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. The bin is in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. Let's see if it has a ah, Here's, you guys, today, Little Ben has the uh, Hawaiian Punch. The blue is, I don't know what flavor it is, but it's the blue Hawaiian Punch Sugar Free Kool Aid on him today. You mix it up in a water bottle and you pour it in there. And also up here, you guys, we got uh, my lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, look way up at the top of the screen box in blue. Hit that link, and right there, you can get your lips hot sauce. Guess what? Hey, glory. Oh, let me get this right, y'all. Hold up. You can get your lips hot sauce right there, hon. <laughs> I'm going to get y'all burger on. And <laughs> your lips merch. Okay. You guys, today, for the food, we got some fried catfish on this good mind. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We got some fried catfish fillets on here, honey. I got me some tartar sauce back here at the back. I have got us a big old salad up here, honey. It's got lettuce, it's got cucumbers, it's got red onions, it's got eggs, it has got pineapples, bacon bits, and ham in it. Also up here, we got us a baked potato. A baked potato over here, y'all. In the baked potato, I just got some butter in there right now and some cheese. Over here, I got me some bacon bits. I have got our um, um, Catalina dressing. And I have got us some sour cream and some salt and some pepper over here. Mm-hmm. That's what we got, y'all. That's what we got. All right, so let's put some salt and pepper over here. Up in our potato here, honey. Some salt and pepper over here in the tater. We need some salt and pepper in the tater. Mm -hmm. Some salt and some pepper in the tater. We got some sour to the cream. Butter is already in there. We got a dollar per daisy. <laughs> hey, y'all, we got a dollar per daisy. All right, put us some sour cream in there. Y'all know I really miss sour cream like that, but I wanted some today. I did, I did, I did. And let's get to eating. Oh, I got to put me some dressing up on my salad. Let me put me some dressing on my salad. We got Catalina, honey. That's what we got, Catalina. Uh-huh. Catalina. I ain't gonna put no Catalina up there for y'all. Oh, mm -mm. I'm gonna put it back here for me. All right, y'all. Let's get us some of this salad uh, for our first bite here and everything. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go, bite. Get your bite in. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Baby, it's good. I love pineapples on my salad anyway. And do y'all know the other day when we had that Puerto Rican food, we had a salad. And a lady told me that she's never seen anybody put salt and pepper on their salad. I don't know if I ever ate damn what I didn't put it on there. Whether I put it on here, whether I came on the video or not, I put it on there. You remember? Huh? Get your bite. Mmm. 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 That's so fresh. 
Pineapple will make your salad so pretty. Make your, I'll make it so pretty. Mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's get in this baked potato, y'all. If anything off, I'm sorry, y'all. Production is at work. So I had to do everything by myself. Fry my own fish and everything and everything. But we got it together. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Huh. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Get y'all some of that tater. Get y'all some of that tater. Mmm, 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 no sauce in there. I got have sauce on the tater, especially with that sour cream for so. sure. Mmm, 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 and that's good. Mmm, 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 Mm-hmm. That's the deal. Now, I hope you guys week It's starting out. Ooh, that was taking good. Really, really well. It's the start of the week, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know some of y'all. Mm. I know y'all seen that. Don't worry about it. Some of y'all had to go back to work. Some of y'all had to go to school. When the time is tough. And everything. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. Y'all do know that in some places, you know, everything getting kicked up, y'all. Mmm-hmm. For the boats and mmm. All of that. Let's say which one we gonna start with. Y'all gonna start with this one. Mmm-hmm. Y'all see that filet. Y'all see that? I fried it myself. It fried hard. It is. We got some tartar sauce back here. And we're going to put up some hot sauce on them. We are. Let me turn around this way. <clears throat> we're going to put up some hot sauce on them. For your visual pleasure, put up some hot sauce. Hmm. Get you a bite. I did right there. Mm -hmm. You ready? Y'all ready? Mm, 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 That's good. Mm-hmm. Hood ain't him. So, I had to fry myself, y'all. And me, myself, and I, I don't season my catfish with nothing but seasoned salt. Mm. We don't need none of them. We do not need none of them, honey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't need none of them. Mm-hmm. I can get your fish ranks and everything. Watch where we're going to start. Mm-hmm. Why it's still wet a little bit. You know, you got to dry it off some. You don't want it just wet, wet. But while it's still damp, it just takes you nothing but seasoning salt. Sprank across your fish. You don't need nothing else. No nothing else, honey. Just season your fish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. The season's out. Mm-hmm. You guess so? <clears throat> and don't hold on over the green. Mm. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Season perfectly. This fish is hot. I don't know about y'all, but I can eat cold fish. Mm, mm. I can. You know, like over the night. I can eat cold pizza. I can eat cold pizza. I can. But 
So I prepare my fish fresh and high degree smoking, just like that. Mmm. Mmm. Fry hard, of course. Mm-hmm. Now, how y'all day going? I hope your day is going very, very well. And like I said, that's your week. Has started out grand. I do. Mm-hmm. I really do. Young. November. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like October and all the rest of the month, time. It's mostly no by. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Here we are, y'all. Already, the first week in November is gone. It's gone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gone. It is. Give me out. It's gone. Yep. Time really flies now, y'all. <clears throat> it really does. This morning when I woke up, I was watching this movie. Uh, the new movie by Jamie Foxx. Mm. About a true story. Based in, I think, Biloxi, Mississippi, or no, I forgot. But it's in Mississippi, and they talk about uh, mm, South Haven, Mississippi, and you know it's in Hines County, is where based, and it's called Burial. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it was so good. It was, it was really good. Got me the one that the Jamie Foxx shoot the movie. You know, mm, mm, prior to him being sick here recently. But he looked real good. Looks like he gained weight for the movie. But it's real good, though. It's on Prime Video. Y'all ain't seen it. Mm hmm. It was real good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I did. Y'all, ripped out on my television screen right now. The new season of the Potomac, uh huh, P O T O, uh huh, Mac, mm hmm, mm. the Potomac Housewives, mm hmm, has begun. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Y'all know right now, mm. y'all a piece of that. Get your piece of that. Y'all know right now. Generally, would be when the Atlanta Housewives back in the day would be coming on. Um, put some hot sauce on there. Here you go, light about. So I know you saying put me some extra hot sauce, and this is the extra extra hot hot sauce. Now, they ooh wee, did you get that light about? Mm-hmm. Mm. Anyway, mm. the Housewives of Potomac. It's aired. It came on last night. Mm-hmm. However, my husband and I got in late last evening. And, you know, um, everybody know when you have children and stuff, you know, you used to get on to the house and get what you're doing. Get, get, you know, you got to get to the house and get what you got to get done, done. And you just kind of get in that routine, you know. Uh, so we got in kind of late last evening, so I didn't get to watch it. So I'm just not watching it today. And I had to put it on pause. Mm. Mm. So I can come see you and everything. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. But I told y'all a couple of seasons ago, the Potomac Girls, bye bye. They ain't playing. Mm. Mm. I don't know whether y'all can hear that crunch on this fish or not. Mm hmm. Look at that. Mm hmm. Um. The Potomac girls, they did not come to play. The trailer, 
trailer. No. I'm going to say I'm good in country, and I am. The trailer seems like this season is going to be interesting. I'm waiting to see. Y'all know I will be there every Sunday or Monday mm -hmm. to make sure that we are abreast of our Potomac girls. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, they got BravoCon is going on. And they've got all of these rumors swirling around about a reboot of Atlanta. You know? But we don't know about that yet. What we do know is, as of this moment right now, the Atlanta Housewives has been put on the back burner for right now. And they are not filming. They're not filming, y'all. So we don't know what's going on with Atlanta. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Um, personally, I don't think. Well, I'm gonna say for my own personal, um, my own personal wants and desires. I don't want them to reboot it. I don't. Um. I understand the shake up, you know, but I would like, if it was for me, them to keep Candy, of course, um, keep Candy more. Mm -hmm. she's good TV. Drew Sedora Drew just started, her storyline just started heating up. Um, I do like Sonya. Mm -hmm. I do. Um... Marlo's a no for me. Um, Sheree is a uh, don't have to be there for me. You know? Mm. Bring back Cynthia. You know? And more importantly, um, bring back Nene, honey. Oh, I knew it may not ever happen. But that show needs Portia, Portia Williams, uh -huh, or uh, Portia Bugatti, or whatever last name is that. That show needs Nene. If they plan on bringing it back to its former glory, you know what I mean? You can put Marlo back as a friend, stick on back over there. Because to me, the five fans ever on the Atlanta Housewives was Candy, Nene, Cynthia. Portia, um, Kenya, and Eva Marcel. For me. That's the five cast. Uh, you know, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, was their highest ratings that they ever had was, you know, during that time. I don't know, but um, I do know but that's what we need. To get us back invested the way that we were. I ain't never left from being invested, but I think for the world to get back invested in the Atlanta Housewives, this is the cast that you need, Bravo. Mm-hmm. No. No, I just told you what you need. Mm-hmm. And Cohen, I just told you what you need. I just told you. And we'll be back in there, Joe. Mm -hmm. We will. Yep. Ten toes down. Mm -hmm. Back in there, Joe. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> y'all is November. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is. Yeah, it's November. The first week is gone. It was already time. Most people not already started Christmas shopping already. Mm-hmm. Mm. Y'all hear that fun? Yep. Christmas is what? 23 and 25. Christmas is 48 days away. 48 days. It'll be Christmas, which means 
There's 54 pieces, five days left for my birthday. Hey, glory. Mm-hmm. Yep. So Christmas is right around the corner, y'all. That's when it's my birthday. Mm-hmm. Yep. For sure. Mm-hmm. This year hit them gone. I thought last year went bad. This year hit them went bad for that, for real. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know really if it's that. Um, I think y'all when COVID happened, and when COVID slowed everything down, especially in 2020, you know, 2020 was a year, you know, for everybody. But um, um, I think 2020 went so slow for us. That now that things are back up and running and, you know, all the years to like, it's pretty much back to normal. That, but now it seems like time flies because you can get out, you need, we're back out there in the hustle and bustle. I'm going to tell y'all something else soon. Have y'all realized where y'all from that now most people in most businesses are not taking cash anymore? Have y'all realized that most restaurants here in Atlanta that we go to, um, you know, they don't take cash no more. If you ain't got some form of payment, um, you know, that's not cash, you ain't getting that service. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all what brought this to my attention, which I see the signs all the time in the windows, but I didn't really just really, really, really just take note of it, like, you know, <laughs> until my husband and I, the other day, went to this Peruvian restaurant um, in Decatur, and we were over there, and it was a large family, y'all. Um, that was a large payment that was there. Um, and they had all went eat, went, you know, sat down. I'm like, literally it was, I'm going to say probably three generations. Um, um, maybe the matriarch, the patriarch, um, maybe three of their children. Um, and maybe six grandchildren. So I'm going to say between 10 and 13, 14 people. Three generations. I don't know if it's somebody's birthday or not, but all in all, the people sat down. Uh -huh. They ate their meal. They did. And they all loaded up in their vehicles. And when it came time to pay, the gentleman was up there uh, trying to pay for his food or pay for the group of people. Or seemingly that this is what he was doing. And the young lady, she was trying to tell the man, you know, we don't take cash, you know. And now I never seen the gentleman pull out any cash anyway. <laughs> I didn't, y'all. Production was outside because we had decided that we didn't want or that we weren't going to purchase Peruvian food. We were going to get Puerto Rican. And, um... <laughs> The long story short, y'all, the bill was something in excess of $300 something, talking about $400. I can't remember the exact total, but the gentleman was trying to say that he wanted to pay in cash. And they were trying to tell him that we don't accept cash, sir. And the gentleman was trying to tell them, well, if you don't accept cash, I mean, how are you going to get paid? Because I don't have credit cards. I don't have debit cards, which y'all know this day and time, everybody got credit cards and debit cards. I want to say, you know. I mean, if it ain't number the Walmart card, you know, everybody got some form of, you know. Well, for me, if I was the manager of the business, first and foremost, the manager that was there, and um, the waitress whose ticket it was probably would be fired, probably, um, because. 
Um, the man. We're basically saying all he had was cash. You know, a four hundred dollar bill or something. You know, right at four hundred dollars. And if the manager and the um, waitress, cashier, whoever she was, couldn't understand in their mind that it's better to take this man's four hundred dollar cash and allow him to walk out of the building and not pay at all, they would have been fired. That's for sure. For sure. But that man never buy them. Mm-hmm. Walked out the building right ahead of me. Got in his vehicle. And he left. He did. They didn't come out the door and try to get his tag number nothing, or at least that I seen, unless they came out. Because uh, where the restaurant is, it's like, um, you know, of course, the parking lot is directly adjacent to the front door. Uh if you ever been over there in, uh, anyway, that, that's not important. But anyway, the parking lot was right adjacent to the front door, the parking lot. You know, as soon as you walk out the door, within, at their furthest parking spot, um, you know, 20 steps and you in your vehicle, you know. And uh, that man got his car, he left. That was it, that was all. <laughs> hey, go right. So for me, if I was the general manager or the owner of the business, definitely the manager was on duty. And the young lady that was the cashier or waitress or whoever, they would be fired for sure. Because regardless of whether you take cash or not, you know what I mean? It's better to have $400 to cover this ticket that you can take to the bank than it is to have nothing because you sit there trying to argue with this man about what he got in his wallet. You can't do that. <laughs> You know, I mean, I understand there's signs all over the doors that it says no cash, no cash, no cash. However, at this point, you can't, y'all, that was dumb. That was stupid. How are you going to tell this man that he cannot pay in cash? And I understand businesses now don't take cash. And y'all, I'm being honest with you, a lot of businesses now, I mean, flower shops, restaurants, you know, a whole lot of places now do not take cash. They don't. I do not take cash. Even now when you go to Walmart, you know, there's a certain section of even the checkout, the self-checkouts that you have to go to, to pay cash. Because Kroger still does, Publix does, but I don't now, at this point right now, now our neighborhood Walmart still does have a place in there where one stall where you can go through and you can still pay with cash. And that's the one that sells the cigarettes and all that kind of stuff. And that's probably because they got to check your identification. I'm guessing. I don't know for sure, but there is one there. But all the other Walmarts that I know, you know, like the blue Walmarts, the Super Center, baby, ain't, no, ain't nobody in there for you to go to no line. Uh-uh. Not in check out. No, ma'am. They're, 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 they're getting away from that. And I think that that is the reason why, even though, you know, like I said, there's a certain section, even in Walmart, you can go to where you can feed cash in the machine. But predominantly... 75% of those machines only take cards. You know, the world is changing. Now, we talked about this in a video months back about the dollar bill and about, you know, cash money. You know, everything is going to online banking and, you know, like we do Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, all that kind of stuff. You know, you know, that's just what the world has come to now. Everything is done digitally or on cards. You know, even your card now, you ain't got to most of them, you don't have to push in the machine. You just take it and set it up against the machine and you know, tap it and you're done. Um, but y'all, uh, pay attention to these restaurants and things and stuff that don't take care. Don't go down there, y'all, because it's just, and now if it's an honest mistake, I, I get it. But, you know, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in the world just taking advantage of it. Going in and sit down and having a good night's meal, honey, and everything, and running them a good old bill, honey, because the place don't take care and have. Stupid employees like these particular set were, uh, you know, and uh, you'll take advantage of that. This we talking about four hundred dollars. Anyway, y'all, I'm thinking about it. Here. I appreciate y'all coming and watching me watch eat my catfish and everything and all that kind of stuff and everything. It was delicious and everything. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a brilliant and great and happy and healthy start to your week. I really, really do. The first week of November, like I said, is gone. Christmas is on the way, y'all. Make sure that you're going and you're getting your things that you need for Thanksgiving because it'll be here before you know it. I love you guys so, so much and I'm going to get up out of here, okay? You guys, did you enjoy? I hope you did. I really, really do. Tell my new legion.
Thank you guys so, so much for being here because we truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. We really, really do. Because you did not have to be here. You could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world. But you chose to be right here with us. So we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm existing DJ. Round and round we go Round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys flew. Oh, and remember, it is always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye, bye. All right, y'all. Come about here. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing to say today. I ain't got nothing to say today. I'm finna go. I love y'all, and I hope that y'all enjoy it. Bye, bye. Mwah. Happy holidays. I'm gonna say it. Bye, bye, y'all.